everybody. There's been a lot of school closures with this new COVID-19 virus out. And I know a lot of parents out there are worried about how they're going to entertain their children while they're home for weeks on end. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys also posting advice looking for what to do with your child as you're trying to find some way to provide some structure and some homeschooling to them. And I thought, why don't we combine some artwork and some schooling and a little bit of cheerfulness and I'm going to start a channel here that's going to help you guys create with your kids. So it's kind of like art school for your kids at home. So homeschooling art, there you go. Um, but my name is Rachel, I'm an artist in South Carolina. We are going to start today by creating the happiest thing on earth, a unicorn. Do you need fancy art supplies? No. Do you want fancy art supplies? If you got them, use them. If not, who cares? So we are going to start with the basic thing, your surface. You can use a canvas. You could use a plate. You could use a chunk of cardboard because I know everybody's gone to Amazon and has their Amazon orders with their cardboard. So we're gonna use a piece of cardboard. Mine is not from an Amazon box. Mine is from the back of a paper pad for drawing because as an artist, I have a ton of empty paper pads. BT Dubs, I did not create this beautiful piece of art. This was done by my great friend, Jenny King. She has a um, art studio on Facebook that you can find. It's called Tiffin River Studio, but I bought this from her. I absolutely love it. So if you fall in love with that, that is where that came from. But yes, surface thing, we're gonna start with this. So materials, you're gonna need a surface, cardboard. We have a paper plate, the palette of champions for most professional artists. We don't actually use those wooden pallets. Those are just for show. You're gonna need a water source. I have a fancy water jug here because I like this. You could use a Dixie cup. It'll work just as well. You're gonna need some brushes. Oh, do they have to be fancy brushes? No, we are in quarantine. Just kidding, we're not really in quarantine. But use whatever brushes you have lying around your house because the important thing is to get your kids making something. You're also gonna need some paints. Acrylic paints are recommended. They are way less messy than oils. Don't give your children oils. You will regret it. But I'm using the Grumbacher uh, Academy acrylics. You can use house paint, like a latex, that'll do. You could use a craft paint, that'll do. You could use tempera paint. Whatever paint you have around the house, just don't use really expensive paint because it's for your babies. Okay? Also, see how good I am at not touching my face today. I'm trying very hard. So, the happiest thing that we're gonna paint today, a unicorn. <gasps> yes, your kids are gonna love the unicorn. So, just to get this out of the way, this is gonna be something that I would like to do weekly. Um, I would actually like to do this a couple times a week for each of you. Uh, it's just something that was weighing on me tonight as all the schools were closing, announcing their closings around us, and I really thought it was something that we should do for the kids. Um, this is, I don't normally do educational videos. Uh, I did used to have a teaching studio, not the same thing as a video. I actually think the video is harder than doing it in person. Um, but yes, so I am a professional artist, yes. Uh, this is not my professional typical style. So now that all of that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead, you can bring your kids back in the room if you haven't. I'm assuming you're watching the video before the kids, but this is the point where you would wanna get the materials in front of your kids, press that play button, and let them start having a good time. So, hey kids, my name is Rachel. We are gonna be painting a unicorn. What, yes, oh my gosh, I love unicorns, me too. Um, this does not look like a unicorn yet because we're just getting started. So the first thing we're gonna do, if you're painting on cardboard, we're gonna use white paint to start with. So get out your white paint, put a little splob of it on your palette. If you are not painting on cardboard and you're painting on a white surface, you want to use either, a, I think a yellow or a really pale pink, maybe even a light blue, but about that much. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not a lot of paint, just a little bit of paint, okay? All right, so we've got our white paint on there. We're gonna grab a paintbrush. Do we need a huge paintbrush? No, because we're just doing our outline. So I'm grabbing this brush. This is a square rectangle brush. I'm gonna dunk it in my water just to get it damp. I don't want it drippy, just a little bit wet. And I'm gonna put 
the paint on my brush, just like that. And here starts the magic, kids. We're gonna start with our unicorn's nose. So we're gonna start with a circle. Everybody knows how to do a circle, right guys? You sure do. So we're gonna make a circle in the white paint or the pale pink or the yellow, whatever you have for your little bit of color. And that's gonna be our unicorn's nose. And now we need some brains for our unicorn. So we don't want too big of brains, but we do wanna have a good size circle. And you know what guys, is that a perfect circle? It's not a perfect circle, that is okay. We are going to make it a little bit bigger because I feel like our unicorn should be a little bit smarter than that, okay? Am I erasing my lines? Nope, am I worried about it? Mm -mm. Because it's gonna look good when it's all done. So I've got my two circles and now I'm gonna connect them like this. See how it's got a little bit of a curve and then I'm gonna do it again like that. That's a little bit of a curve. And that is gonna be our unicorn head. So now we're gonna do the next. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the curve here where it connects to our jaw and our back of our head. And we're gonna do this shape. It's like a really, really shallow S curve, but backwards, a really shallow backwards S. And then I'm gonna come from the top of the head, I'm gonna follow that circle. And instead of going down at the end, I'm just gonna keep going back. Do you guys see it? We've got the neck, we've got the chest, and we've got our nose and the top of our head. What's it missing? Ears, I know, some of you guys said horn, but we're gonna do the horn after the ears, because we gotta have, you don't know where to put the horn if you don't know where to put the ears, okay? So we're gonna make triangles like this. They're triangles, and we're gonna have them pointing forwards, because unicorns, when they're happy, just like horses, their ears go forward. We don't want to point them back, because it's gonna look like an angry unicorn, and nobody wants to see an angry unicorn, right? No, no angry unicorns. So forward pointing ears, you can do one if you want it to be just perfectly from this side in profile. You could do a second one in there if you wanna see a little bit of that. And then we're gonna do the horn. I know it's your favorite part, which is the same thing. What shape is it guys? It's a long pointy triangle. Comes out from the top of the forehead there. I like to start at the tip and pull back down. And we're doing all of this in white, okay? And if you made any mistakes, if you oh, got something outside the lines, don't panic, no worries, okay? You know why? Because we're not gonna leave any of this ugly cardboard showing at the end, we're gonna paint over this whole thing. So take your brush and we are going to fill in the ears and we're gonna fill in the horn. And you guessed it, we're gonna fill in this whole shape in white, not the background because then our unicorn won't show up anymore. But we're gonna fill in the whole inner shape with that white, okay? So we're gonna fill in the ears. Don't worry too much if you get outside the lines, just do your best, okay? Either way, it's really cool because you're making unicorn where there wasn't one before. This brush I feel is gonna be too small to fill that whole thing in all at once. So I'm gonna dunk this in my water and I'm gonna grab one that's a little bit bigger, okay? Doesn't matter what shape, it can be round, it can be square, it can be one of those funny angled ones like I have and we're gonna fill it on in, okay? So fill it on in. And if you guys are any kind of lucky, you could be doing this in your PJs right now because you're at home or at grandma's or I don't know where you're at, but you could be doing this in your PJs, which is kind of cool. That's one of the fun things about doing painting classes over the internet and on videos is that you could be in your jammies, super comfy, nothing wrong with that. And, oh, we're filling it in. If it's not all the way in, that's okay. We're just trying to do our best, okay? So this cardboard is super thirsty. It is soaking up a lot of paint. If I'm having a hard time spreading it out, I can dunk my brush in a little bit of water just to help it spread, okay? You can ask mom or dad to help you with that if you need to. If you get a little bit too much on there and too drippy, you can just use a paper towel to wipe that down, which I also forgot to mention in the supply list that I told your mom. So hopefully your mom was smart enough or dad or grandma or whoever was smart enough to think, boy, you guys are probably gonna be messy. I bet you'll need some paper towels. Most definitely, right guys? Oh yeah. 
All right, so we should be all about there. This is not very big, guys. This is only about nine by 12 inches. So if you have, if yours is bigger than mine, you can just pause the video here and take a little bit more time. If it's smaller, you might just be like twiddling your thumbs waiting on me to finish, and that's okay. All right, so we've got that. Woohoo! Now we're gonna pick a background color. So you can decide, is it daytime, maybe with a light blue? Is it nighttime with a dark purple or a navy blue? Or you can go totally crazy off the wall and pick something. I think I'm gonna do a green background. So I'm gonna take my leftover white paint because I don't wanna waste it, and also because I wanna make a light green and a little bit of green. I'm using phthalo green, but you can use any kind of green you like. Doesn't have to be the same as mine because they don't all have to be the same. That's kind of the fun thing about unicorns is they're all different, right? Isn't that what people say? If somebody says, I'm a unicorn, then they're saying I'm unique and special. So all of our paintings are going to be as unique as a unicorn. So I've got my green, I've got my white, and I'm just gonna take a scoop of my green and stir it into my white. Oh my goodness, look at that cool color. Okay, so if yours is too dark, Start with some extra white over here and then scoop some of that color into it. If it's too light, just add some more color to it. Doesn't matter what color you pick, okay? There aren't really any colors that would be terrible for it. And now we're gonna fill in everything that's not a unicorn. This should be pretty self-explanatory. If it is a unicorn, should you fill it in? No. Everything that's not a unicorn. And it doesn't matter what direction your brush strokes go in. So I'm actually probably gonna get my thumbs dirty here because I don't have anything to hold this up. I didn't even bring an easel today. I don't actually usually paint with easels though. So I'm gonna fill this whole thing in, okay? So you can either fill on right along with me or you can pause it. If you think I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and take your time, okay? I'm going really carefully when I get really close to my unicorn, and then I can be really messy outside my unicorn, okay? But you do wanna be careful when you get close to your unicorn. That way, you're not getting, you don't wanna get any paint on the inside of your unicorn, because then your unicorn will just look dirty. And hopefully, your unicorn got his or her bath today. So it's nice and clean, right? Okay? So clean unicorn, nice and careful. Ooh la la, look at that. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit, guys. This part is the part. It just takes a little bit, so we can just relax. So what I did right there was I just corrected a little bit on my nose. I thought my unicorn's nose was just a little bit too long right there. So I just scuffed a little bit of extra paint over that one spot. And I'm not gonna get the corner of this right now, guys, because I don't wanna get my thumbs dirty. So bear, just ignore this bottom corner, okay? So we're gonna take this brush. We're done with the big one for now. Gonna dunk it back in the water, okay? I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm going to rinse out that first brush that I used, the one with all the white on it. I'm gonna rinse that out, pat it dry because nobody wants a drippy brush. And we 
are going to do our hair, okay? So I have a green for my background. So I wanna use a color that's gonna look really good with the green, okay? I don't wanna use orange, because orange and green make what? When you mix them together, it makes brown, okay? So I'm gonna pick a color that's not gonna make brown when I mix it with green. That means I could pick one of two colors, okay? Well, I, well two colors plus black or white. But I could use blue, or I could use yellow, or I could use a darker green, okay? I think I'm gonna use blue though, because I really like blue. And you know, it's just a really calming color, and I just feel like being calm today. I'm not usually very calm. Sometimes I'm too excited, especially when we're talking about unicorns. So I don't need a lot of it, but I'm gonna put some here. This is a really dark blue. If I wanted to lighten it, I could add a little bit of white to it, which I think I might, I might add a little bit of it. I'm not gonna add a lot of white to it, but just a little bit, just to make it a little bit brighter, okay? So here it is. Use that same little brush. I'm just gonna scoop some of my white into there and stir it. Oh yeah, that is a pretty shade of blue. Okay, so now I've got my unicorn. I've got my background. It's hair time, babies. Hair time. Okay, so I'm going. Never know how to make an S. If you don't, it's kind of like a hill and a valley shape. So this is a sideways S. Or if you don't know how to do that, it's a hill and a valley and then I'm gonna close it off with a little swoop there so this is kind of like the front curl our unicorn has bangs today okay and I'm gonna fill that in fill in pointing towards the tip okay oh that's cool looking all right and then we're gonna do some hair coming down here so I'm gonna do more S shapes with some extra curls here and I'm gonna make a lump and I'm gonna kind of taper it off like that, okay? And that's gonna be a lock of hair, and I'm gonna fill that in, okay? You could do different shapes on your hair. Maybe you want your unicorn to have all straight hair. That's okay. You know, some unicorns don't have curly hair. Some of them have straight hair, just like boys and girls sometimes have curly hair or straight hair. Some of them have only straight hair or only curly hair. So we're gonna add more of those curls, okay? Now, this one looks a little funny. Why does it look a little funny, guys? I think it's because it's the same exact length as the other one. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer, okay? And this is gonna be a wider piece of hair. So what I wanna show you guys is that if, if it's not exactly the way you'd imagined it, it doesn't mean it's bad, okay? It's just gonna be a little different from how you imagined it, but you're the only one who knows what you had going on inside your head. So other people are just gonna think, oh my goodness, what a cute looking unicorn, okay? So we're gonna do this here. Boop. Mm, I've got room for a little bit more hair down here, so I think I'm gonna add some more hair right here, just to kind of fill this in here, okay? And your hair is not gonna look the same as mine, that is totally okay. I'm just gonna fill in this back here, add a curl going this way, Add a curl going that way. Oh yeah, that's some good looking unicorn hair, guys. I'm gonna make that a little bit pointier, okay? Make the tips a little pointy. Now, while it's still wet, I'm gonna dunk it back into my straight white so your brush is gonna look like this, okay? It's got blue and white on it, so I'm just going straight into some plain white. And I'm gonna do some highlights in the hair, so streaking, just little streaks like that, okay? Oh my goodness, look at this fancy unicorn's hair. Ooh la la. I wish my hair looked this good, but that's because I am not a unicorn. It's so beautiful. There we go. And you can put as many of those as you like. You know, if you don't even want them, you don't have to put them in there. You think, no, nope, I don't want any streaks in my unicorn's hair. You don't have to. That's the beauty of it. Now we're gonna rinse our brush out. Okay, rinsey, rinsey, rinsey. And I'm going to get a smaller brush. This is the smallest brush we're gonna to use today, okay? I'm gonna get a little round brush. Like this doesn't have to be perfectly round, you just want it smaller than your other ones, okay? And I'm going to pick a dark color. I think I might use black, but you can use another color if you want to, okay? I forgot to get my black out, excuse me. Oh, 
goodness, if you can't get your paint open, ask your mom or dad to help you. But black paint, just a little bit there, okay? And this paint we're gonna thin out with just a little bit of water, not a lot. We're not gonna get it like drippy like ink. We just want it to be really smooth, okay? We don't want it really bumpy and we don't want it really thick and pasty. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and drip it in like that. I'm gonna stir it up, okay? There we go. And we're gonna do our face of our unicorn. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the eye and I want that to go kind of in the middle of that first circle. If you guys remember that first circle that we did, we're gonna put the eye kind of in the middle there. And there's different ways you could do your eye, okay? So I'm gonna show you on the back here. If you wanna have a sleeping unicorn or one of those graceful unicorns, then you do kind of a U shape and you can do eyelashes. If you want a happy unicorn, kind of like an anime style unicorn, then you can do a rainbow shape and do your eyelashes this way, okay? If you want a unicorn with its eye open, then you're gonna do kind of a football shape, okay? And then you can put a circle in the middle of that. I'm gonna do a football shape, because I like that, okay? So I'm gonna start here, right in the middle, and you wanna kinda of angle it so it matches the angle of your unicorn's head like that, so I'm gonna put a dot where I want the point of the football, and then a dot where I want the end of the football, and I'm gonna go like this, okay? Here we go. And I'm gonna make my circle in the middle, and I'm gonna fill in my circle. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. Mine's a little shaky, because I am holding it up against the back there, okay? And then, if you want, you can add some eyelashes. Don't overdo it on the eyelashes. I like to only do a couple, okay? So we've got that. Then we're gonna do our nose on our unicorn. So I'm gonna come down from the front here, and I'm gonna go down about to there. And I'm just gonna go right back over that a little bit. It got a little skippy. And then, before I go all the way around, I'm gonna pull in for a smile. Happy unicorns, right? Unicorns are happy creatures. If you want to, you can add a little smile dimple. You can put a little C in there for the nose. But then we're gonna go below it. See how I'm leaving in there? Cause that's its upper lip, okay? So we're gonna leave a spot for the upper lip. I'm gonna come down and around. And if it starts to dry out, that's okay. You just go back and get a little bit more paint. There you go. And unicorns have, like, just like horses, they've got really good jaw bones. They're really, really beautiful animals. They have very good bone structure, darling, very good, okay? So I'm gonna bring that in, and then I'm gonna bring this down, okay? We're gonna outline the whole body, okay? I'm gonna outline its ears. Ear number one, don't forget ear number two if you included it, okay? And then we're gonna do the hair. If you wanna do the hair, I think I wanna do my hair. Okay. You can do your horn if you want to. Now I like to have the spirals on my horn. I think it makes it look really extra magical. So I'm just gonna go bloop, bloop, just at that little angle. You don't need a lot of them, okay? And then we're gonna do the bottom of the, of the hair here. If it didn't get all the way, just add a little extra. If you want, you can also kind of do like reverse highlights. Um, I'm not a hairdresser, I don't know what they're called. Maybe low lights. You guys probably know better than I do, but that's okay. I'm not a hairdresser, I'm an artist. Okay, now we're gonna do the rest of our curls. If you need to, add a little bit more water to your paint or you can pause the video and get some more. You guys might already be already done, I don't even know. You guys are probably pretty fast at this. But is it more important to be fast or is it more important to be good and careful? Careful is really more important than fast, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna go swoop back here. Take your time. Take your time, okay? If you're a little wiggly, it's okay. It's hand painted, right? This is not a photograph of a unicorn, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a picture, gentle, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. What does it need? <gasps> more streaks in the hair, more texture, right? Make a little extra texture, there we go. All right, 
Looking good, guys. Looking good. I can't see it from here, but I can I'm bet my britches it's beautiful. What does mom or dad say? Do they think it looks good? Better ask them. Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. Guys, where are you going to hang these? I feel like this is something that's going to go above your fireplace if you have one. Definitely someplace really important. Okay. Maybe above your bed. All right, look at that. Keep going, keep going. There we go, oh my goodness. Now this is cool, I'm gonna have the hair overlap, okay? Get some extra structure to it. Don't forget to go all the way to the edge. If you wanna add extra streaks in your hair, you can, cause it looks really cool. And they don't have to be perfect. We're just doing texture in our hair. Don't forget the back spot there. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Is it done? No, of course it's not done, okay? Rinse your brush out, rinse off really, 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 really well, okay? Because what happens if black and yellow mix? It turns like a really weird shade of green. Someday I will show you and we'll use it for something cool, but for today we want it to be nice, bright, shiny yellow because we're gonna make a yellow horn because, well, you can use any color you want to. You could have a hot pink horn if you wanted to. You could have a lime green horn, but I don't want those things. I want my unicorn to have a classic yellow horn. I think it's gonna look really good. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. Now this is such a small area, so you just need a little bit of paint. We don't wanna waste the paint, right? But it's not good, because we wanna have paint for another day, because we're gonna make more pictures together, okay? So I'm taking my brush, which is rinsed out nice and clean. Look at that, no dirt. What? That's good. So clean, clean brush in the yellow. And carefully, because if your black isn't dry, ask mom or dad to hair dry it for you. If you don't have a hair dryer, go like this. Oh, fan yourself with it, okay? Because we want that black to be dry. My black is dry. So I'm going to carefully put my yellow inside my lines over there. There we go, okay? And you're kind of at the point where you could add some extra stuff, okay? So maybe I want to add, you could put stars in the background if you wanted some stars, okay? I like to do my stars a little differently. I like to do an X and then a plus. Just to get a little extra, you can do X and plus, okay? You could, if you wanted to, you could take a different color. I'm going to go back to my hair color here. And if you wanted to, you could add other things to it, like you could put little hearts. That's cute, right? Kind of like a can like two candy canes. It's like two kissing candy canes. A hook and then another hook. Okay. You could give it a cutie mark there if you wanted to. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. And we're almost done. One last step. Well, two last steps. I'm gonna rinse my brush out again. I have just a little bit of white paint left right in there. So I'm gonna take the back side of my brush. That is the side that doesn't have the paint. This is the front side. This is the back side. We're gonna use the back side. And I'm gonna dunk it in my white paint so I have just a little bit on there. And I'm gonna put a highlight in the eye. Oh yeah, that's the touch it needed, right? Now it looks magical. And then you are going to take back to your black or whatever color you like. If you want to, this is not mandatory, but I think it's fun too. And you, oh, that's hilarious. I got the wrong color. You are going to sign your name at the bottom, okay? And you have made a masterpiece. Check out your unicorn. Beautiful. Pat yourselves on the back. Go wash your hands, okay? Definitely wash your hands. Help mom and dad clean up because they were so nice to let you paint today. So make sure you clean up and wash your hands and say thank you. And you did a great job. I'll see you next time.